But I want to bring in my next guest, Miss Andrea Warner. Thanks for joining us. You're a writer with CBC Music, an author, uh, and your beat is music. And, is. you know, you've been talking and writing about uh, why this is Canada's band. Tell us, what is it about the Tragically Hip? I think the Tragically Hip uh, have held Canada accountable. That's actually a really extraordinary thing that perhaps could only happen in Canada. Uh, whereas, you know, sort of the Dixie Chicks tried to hold America accountable and got wiped out a little bit. Uh, the Tragically Hip has been, it loves Canada, but it knows that you can still love something and talk about its flaws and talk about how it can get better all the time. And you've also spoken uh, about something, a, a totally different angle, about the band and, you know, as a feminist, what the band means to feminism. Tell us about that. I think that the the band and, I mean, particularly Gore Downey, you know, he's such, his brain goes places that other people don't bother to look, you know? And so he challenges these sort of systems of justice and inequality, talks about decolonization, uh, racism, all of these huge, huge things. And as part of that, he really speaks to how equality is so important. That speaks to me as a feminist and just challenging sort of those institutions. Now, I mean, you've been covering, uh, you know, stories about the hip from so many different angles. And one that we can't ignore is just, you know, the, the outpouring of support and love for this band. Uh, what have you noticed or what has caught your attention uh, since, you know, we've been covering the story? People have been so eager to talk about what the band means to them. Like, I, I can't think of another band that has touched so many people, so many diverse groups of people, so many different Canadians. I mean, I think that's kind of extraordinary. And uh, just the, the power of the lyrics, the poetry of the lyrics. Uh, if you just enjoy the music and you're not a lyrics person either, like, it doesn't really matter. There's a hip song that's for you. And that means really for everybody. That's incredible. If you had to choose one song, what would you say was the one song that really epitomizes what uh, you know the band has meant to you over the years? You know, there's no song that sticks in my heart harder than Bob Cajun. I know that that's a lot of people's favorite songs, Popular and one. I know everyone loves it so much. But there's just something about the one line: um, the the constellations reveal themselves one star at a time. I just think that's probably one of the most beautiful things that anyone has ever written. And it's so exciting and it means so much to me that Gordani is the one that wrote that. You know, you brought up a really um, amazing point when we were speaking earlier. You know, just the fact uh, how amazing it is that this tour, uh, the band is able to be celebratory and yes. really see their fans at their finest. Uh, tell us a bit about, uh, more about your point there. Well, I just, I feel like this is, 2016 has been a hard year. Everyone knows that, particularly as music fans. We've lost Bowie, we've lost Prince, we've lost a lot of people who are really important to us. And when the diagnosis came out about sort of it being an incurable cancer, I think a lot of people were obviously tremendously devastated. But a chance, like for the band to go on tour, and for a chance for all of us to celebrate somebody while they are with us is, I mean, all of us have lost people, and we know what it is to not get to say, a thank you. And for us to get this chance is incredible, particularly as a country. That's amazing. It has been pretty remarkable. And as you mentioned, just, you know, learning the stories around the hip uh, and seeing just not only in Kingston, but across the country, uh, how they've been received. Now, you have a ticket for tonight's show. Yes. And this will be the first concert you're seeing on the Man Machine Poem Tour. Uh, what are you anticipating for tonight? Oh, I am so, like, I can't even believe that I have a ticket. I mean, we tried to get tickets in the pre-sale. Kingston is the only place we could get tickets for. And that is so special to me. That's so amazing. We're from Vancouver and we're, we're here for the event uh, and to share it with Kingston and share it with the country um, and I've been trying really hard not to read too many reviews of what the the tour has been like so far um, but I know from everybody I know who's gone to it it's just like an evening of love like pure total love and to feel love with that many thousands of people just amazing so good